Good evening everyone, this is Engineer Pat5290 coming to you with the April Q&A responses. I've got to say the questions were absolutely awesome. A lot of variety here and a lot of users have come back and would like to say thank you for continuing to come back and ask questions. So let's go ahead and jump into it with King of Love Train and Stephen Casey Railfan are my first two. What's your favorite train movie out of the ones listed? There goes the train with Engineer Dave and the Polar Express with Tom Hanks. Stephen KC Railfan is the next one. The, the SD9043 Mac or the 70M in the Mac. They're both good, but the SD90 Mac was a little bit different in my opinion. It was like an iron horse just going up the mountain with the sleek design and the awesome rear end of that engine. I just absolutely liked it. Um, so the SD9043 Mac was definitely uh, an eye opener. It's a cool locomotive. Thoughts on the KCS Safety Starts Here unit? I am not really impressed with it. Red Velvet or Chocolate Cake? Chocolate Cake for the win. The Alaska Railroad or the NYSW? The Alaska Railroad for the win. Because they have the, because uh, their 70 Max that they have were actually built by NS Juniata Shops. Iowa Interstate or the Pan Am? Pan Am because they have some Guilford locomotives left and they have a nice variety of EMD power. Do you like Taco Bell's nacho fries? I've never had them, but I need to get some. Have you been to Disney World or in Orlando? No, I haven't, but I have friends that have been there. The AEM-7 or the ACS-64? The AEM-7 for the win because it was the um, a very successful locomotive. Um... Which had the better steam, the SP, the NNW, or the Southern? I have two answers for that, the NNW and the Southern. Favorite parts in the I Love Toy Trains films? The first five parts were the best ones. Um, the fav my favorite BN scheme, I like the, the scheme that was on the SD70 Max in 95 and the just the traditional Cascade Green. I was never a fan of the tiger stripes because it didn't look right. The orange and black stripes never looked right on the Cascade Green paint. Have you ever caught a video of a truck or cars or, or pedestrians disregarding crossings? I have to go back and take a look. Would you rather travel by Amtrak or plane? Amtrak. How would you like it if the CSX rebuilds were in any older paint scheme? They just wouldn't look right to me. I would rather see a YN2 locomotive on an older locomotive that hasn't been rebuilt yet. Um, do you prefer the high hoods run LHF or cap first? Definitely LHF for the win because that's the way they were meant to run. Of the class on wear roads, which, which are your favorite paint schemes? Um, I like NSS, BNSF, Florida East Coast, which is a smaller road, but I do like it though and Canadian National. I'm not a fan of CSX's YN3B paint scheme. It's just not, it doesn't appeal to me. Thoughts on the CNNBC Rail Dash 9 WLs? That was a cool locomotive because it was just a little bit different cab and just a longer car body is all it was. But you notice that the BC Rail units have two sets of ditch lights. The second set of ditch lights was actually able to help the crew see around curves and blind spots. CN has actually taken the extra set off and just kept the one set of ditch lights on there just to go by the newer standards. So that's a really cool question. I was able to tag along on that one. So, Stephen, thank you for your questions. Southeast Virginia Railfin comes in next. Thank you for your questions and good to see you back. Do you like the show The First 48? Do you like creepy stories and favorite chip brand? Favorite chip brands are Utz and Frito Lay, but I have not seen the first 48, or, and I don't like creepy stories. Take username comes back. Thank you very much for contributing to this. I greatly appreciate it. Do you like driving on the interstate? Yeah, I don't mind it. What is your dream job? I've got to give that one some thought. Do you like riding on ferries? Oh, yes. I haven't ridden on a ferry in about 10 years, but I enjoy seeing the beautiful water and the beautiful scenery out there, especially on a beautiful spring day. Have you ever performed in a concert or a play? I have done some plays uh, when I was younger, but I always like working backstage and building um, theatrical sets. It's, it's one of my very favorite parts of theater. Um, do you own any CDs and do you own any record discs? 
I haven't been through CDs in a long time. And record disc, I'm not sure. If you could pick any train to ever personally own, what would you choose? My favorite steam passenger train, the Orient Express. Do you enjoy corn mazes and do, and do you have a favorite holiday? I enjoy corn mazes and my favorite holidays are Christmas, Valentine's Day, and my birthday. Christmas and Valentine's Day to show my love for my family all the time and also my birthday. Just because it's my birthday. What is once do you have no interest in going to? I wouldn't mind visiting any of the states. I actually know one of my elementary school teachers who's been to, who's literally been to all 50 states. It's pretty cool. Uh, are there any locomotives or locomotives you specifically don't like? Oh, I could go on that for days. I have a lot of them that I don't like. The SD70 ACE Tier 4, piece of junk. Dash 8.540 CW, never liked the design of it. Um, the F45 was not my favorite. The P30 CH locomotives, never really liked them. Um, they're just a few that I never really liked. Um, do you like The Simpsons? Not a big fan of The Simpsons. Um, I have watched it a time or two, just not very fond of it. Have you ever been to a Hard Rock Cafe? Oh, yes, I've been to the one in New York, and I love the collection of guitars they have for sale. Do you prefer metric or imperial measurements? Measurements are cool to me. I like learning the different measurements and how they work. Favorite track gauge, stair gauge. Have you listened to the band Oasis? i got to give them a listen. I don't think I have, but i got to give them a listen. Any obscure subjects that fascinate you? Obviously computers and cell phones. Uh, carpentries, one home repairs, uh, and I always love airplanes as well, and I'll um, elaborate on that a little bit later in the queue because I believe somebody asked me a question about that. Do you enjoy walking? Do you own any tool sets? Yes for both. Do you do any journaling? No. Do you collect anything? Model trains. Do you like fortune cookies? Yes, I do, but I am not a fan of Chinese food. And are you good at math, and have you seen a train derail while you rail fan? Math, I'm just good at the basics. Um, but for train derail, I have filmed a train derail before after it happened, but I've not seen one um, actually happen. But take username, thank you so much for contributing, man. I really appreciate it. Please continue to come back. Steve Weavy BB comes back with more questions. Good to see you again, buddy. Have you been to the CNO Railway Heritage Center in Clifton Forge? I've had a couple friends that have visited there, but that is definitely on my to-do list. Have you been to Harper's Ferry, West Virginia? Yes, and I do have plans to go back. While this thing you've encountered while rail fanning, I have filmed so many videos in the last five or six years. Let me tell you something. I have seen a lot of stuff. Which video editor do you use? The best of the best, iMovie. Do you like airplanes? Oh, yes. Boeing 747, F-14 Tomcats, F-18s, F-22s, and McConnell Douglas planes? Oh, yes. I absolutely love them. Which of these events at the Illinois Railroad Museum do you like the most? I have never been to the museum, but the um, the events that I've looked at, uh, Diesel Days are awesome. I've looked at the footage of that, and I really want to get look at Diesel Days one day. Uh, have you thought about doing a live stream at some point? I have considered it, but I have not done it yet. But I will definitely consider that. That's a good idea, man. Thanks for the idea. So thank you, Steve, for your questions. Trainman 1993 comes with just a couple of questions. Favorite UP locomotive and your favorite rail fan spot? Favorite rail fan spot is my own home city of Suffolk. Favorite UP locomotive? Well, one of my favorite uh, ex-Southern Pacific locomotives that was in service on Union Pacific for a while was the SD40 T-2. I just love that locomotive. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, Andrew Leib and Transcontinental Railroad Productions are the next two. Thank you, gentlemen, for coming back. Thank you, Trainman1993. Of the GES44 locomotives, do you prefer the AC or the DC? ES40 DCs. ES40 DCs. Uh, CSX and NSD rated theirs, but they sound good when they throttle up. Do you prefer stair gauge or narrow gauge? Stair gauge. Which of these fallen flags do you mostly prefer? The CNJ and the DLW. Glad to see you back, Transcontinental Railroad Productions. Would you make a trip out to Cumberland, Maryland, to see Western Maryland 1309? Oh, you are daggone right. I would love to see that engine in operation. 
Uh, and that's where I also did the hands of the throttle experience. And that's also a really good opportunity, guys, if you really want to take advantage of that. Definitely do that. Uh, that was definitely a life-changing event. Um, the final user that asked questions for this month's Q&A is AmtrakFan2115. He asked a few questions. Great to see you back. NMW 1218 or the 2156, 1218 for the win. Um, longest train you've ever filmed. I got to go back and look. I have seen a lot of trains. The C6M or the C4M, basically that is the same locomotive with just a different railroad. And as this is the C6M, C4M is BNSF. I prefer the C6M just because it's NS. Favorite NS and UP heritage units? They actually nailed their heritage units all together, and same with Amtrak, because they were the first three that did it, because it was UP first, then it was Norfolk Southern, and then Amtrak. Amtrak and NS were about the same time. Um, if you're able to restore any steam locomotive to operating condition, what would it be? NNW 1218. Pair that with the NNW 611. Um, favorite train museum? The North Carolina Transportation Museum. Uh, favorite car series on the DC Metro? I have a couple of favorites. The 2000 series cars, which were built by Hitachi, and the 7000 series cars built by Kawasaki. The 1000 series cars were the first ones. They were designed by Roar, and those were pretty much the flimsiest of this, all the series. Um, and I believe the 3000 series have been retired. A lot of them have been retired. But uh, the 2000 and the 7000 series cars are my favorites. Um, have you seen the Metro Money Train before? No, I haven't, but I've got to look it up. But guys, it is with that we conclude the April Q&A prompt uh, and all the responses. I want to say thanks to everybody who contributed. I look forward to seeing a lot of you back in May's Q&A prompt. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And the prompt for May will be up May 1st at 8.15 in the morning. So definitely give that a look, guys. So I look forward to seeing you guys in the next month's Q&A prompt. Be safe, guys. Peace out. And may God bless. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Thank you guys for watching.